What's up everybody? I'm gonna show you how to make this super simple wall that just moves up and down. Now this wall can be a wall, it could be a bridge, it could be a platform that moves left and right, a platform that moves in and out. It's totally up to you, but I'm gonna show you how to do up and down. You can figure out the rest, it's pretty easy. All right, so I have my red wall here. It's just a part, I have it anchored. That's important. You want to anchor your part. I'm gonna go ahead and add a script onto it and let's script this real quick. So first I'm gonna reference the part that we wanna move. I'm gonna call it wall and I'm gonna set it equal to script.parent. That just says, find this script, go up one level, moving wall. That's the part we wanna move. Now we can just say wall anytime we want to reference the part or attributes about the part. While true do. This is an infinite loop. This will run forever. This says do this thing, do whatever I put between lines three and lines five forever. To keep me safe, I'm gonna put a wait of one second there. If I accidentally run this code without it actually have a wait in there, it might run out of control and crash Roblox. Four I equals one. Two, 30, do these things. Do whatever is between this for loop 30 times. Wall, that's our part, dot C frame. A C frame is a coordinate frame. It's the X, Y, Z physical position of that part in your Roblox game. We're gonna go ahead and set its position to be equal to its position times a new position. Now we don't want to set its position equal to another position. That will cause teleportation and that's not going to work for your game. So I'm gonna say cframe.new. We're gonna multiply it by a new cframe which allows us to get a much smoother movement. We could do plus here but it's not gonna be as smooth. Zero in the X, 0.3 in the Y, zero in the Z. So this is what's called a vector. It takes an X position, that's the left and right of the part. It takes a Y position, that's the up and down of the part. And it takes a Z position, that's the in and out of the part. I wanna make mine move up, so I'm gonna increase the Y. I'm gonna make it move up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put a wait of zero seconds in here. Why wait of zero seconds? Again, just to slow this down, so it doesn't run out of control. Well, we've moved it up. Let's go ahead and move it down. Just gonna copy, paste, change it from increasing the Y to decreasing the Y. And there, there you go, let's run it. Let's see what it does. Up, down. Wait one second, up, down. That's it. That's, that's, the, whole, that's the whole thing. It's super, super simple. Now, if you wanted it to pause when it got to the top, because it's a wall and you want players to hit it, we'll put a wait between the loops. I'm gonna have mine wait two seconds. If you want it to wait at the bottom, put it up here or here. If you want it to wait between movements, you would change this number. Don't do that, it's gonna make it look terrible. But there you have it, that's the whole script. It's super simple. If you get any wobble, look into body gyros, but you shouldn't because your part should be anchored.